So I started to fill you in today on the latest. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. About my OB. Yes, tell me Mommy, about that. ready? I'm ready. Whee! Those things are... Alexa. I guess it's only been oh. two days, but the helium is impressive. Helium's expensive. Oh, it's ridiculous. I guess it's gone up a bunch. No, that's, those things have always been expensive. Okay. Alexa. Oh. I know we do this church retreat thing every year, or we try to do it every year. We haven't done it for a few years. I don't know what we've been up to, but they are. I was just kidding. Oh. And kids. Have we attended one since we've had kids? I don't know. I don't think we have. Maybe just a visit. Yeah. But they are. They were going through the budget for Crucio, trying to cut costs, and one of them was helium, Buck was saying, because it's gotten so expensive. Really? So it has gone up, but maybe not since we've been buying it. Yeah, yeah. Mommy, would you help me carry some stuffed animals upstairs? I'm going to help Lindell carry some st stuffed animals upstairs. BRB. This is our little magnetile area, and we have made a <gasps> castle for Ariel. We had a window for her to see out of it, but we decided... Lindell, you decided you wanted it closed. And now you're making... That's awesome. You think it's going to be big enough for her? You think the castle's going to be big enough for her? She's pretty big. By the way, we're trying to figure out this house. And where, like, where we're going to put babies in this house because yeah. we will have babies in this house for at least six months it's looking like so we're trying to figure out like of course the first couple of months they'll be in our room but then after that um if we want to just keep them in our room or if brad and i want to move out we have this loft space set up for guests just a queen guest bed there so we could if we care to have the babies kind of in the, enclosed in their own space make our room currently the nursery and brad and i can sleep out here um another thought that we had is putting eloise in with baron lindell and making eloise's room the baby's new room but that's my vote that's brad's vote i'm not as keen on that for a couple reasons i just don't i think the least disruption we do to the kids the better so leaving them in their rooms where they're happy and content is my vote and also i know i'm going to be nursing them multiple times a night so going up and down these stairs to the room downstairs to nurse them and come back up doesn't sound great um and that would be after we move them into their room of course you want to open it so anyway we're kind of like toying with what what we're gonna do oh okay oh, we have to get this purse that's strap not, on mommy that's not that's not the velcro part you're, you're doing really good. It actually, she has the Velcro part and it's opened, but you want to do it with the Velcro side up. You want to flip it over, Eloise. Flip, yeah. Pro probably, no, no. probably the other way though, so it's not all twisted. I mean, that'll probably work. It's not working. It's not working. Do you want help? Would you like help, please? I'm yeah, okay. It's kind of tricky. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Forget that. So about the OB situation. At this point, I'm just bummed. <laughs> I, I have an OB that I really, really like. And she's really busy and she's only there a couple of days a week. Every OB at the clinic I'm at is very busy, so it's hard to get into anybody. And so much so that I had an appointment between Christmas and New Year's that I had to cancel because I had a full schedule of patients. I couldn't go to the appointment, and it was the only appointment time that she had, and so I couldn't go. And she had no other appointment slots, so I basically just had to skip an OB appointment altogether, which isn't good. Um, so I haven't seen her since November. 
and it is now January. This is, I think the longest I've gone in any pregnancy without seeing a doctor, let alone a twin pregnancy. So then I have an appointment with her next week and I got a voicemail today saying that she is having to reschedule all of her appointments for a family emergency and she's going to be out for a few weeks. And I happen to have some inside information. I kind of saw this coming because um, one of the girls I know around here also goes to her and her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law's brother's sister. Is is somehow affiliated with the OB department and is encouraging her to switch OBs because she's worried about like my current, our current OB sticking around or just being really distracted and I guess all she said was she has a lot going on. So hmm. now I'm like, okay, do I switch? Can I switch at 20 weeks pregnant with twins? Is somebody else it gonna- It sounds like you've seen this person. You've seen her what, once? Twice, I've seen her twice. But right. to establish with a new OB and have appointments, I have to reschedule all of my appointments. And to get in to somebody, yeah. it's, not gonna be e it's not gonna be an easy task for sure to do that. I'm just, and I don't want to. I really, really like her. It's just mentally exhausting. I don't want to have to make this decision right now. I feel like nothing about this pregnancy has been easy. <laughs> like literally there's been roadblocks at every single, every single week. I really like her and my, I guess my gut feeling is to just stay, just stay with her. I have to see a different OB next week because she's going to be out, but I'm just worried we're going to get further along in the pregnancy and at that point I'm going to have to switch anyway. And yeah, right. I'd, I'd rather, if I'm gonna have to switch, I'd rather do it sooner and get comfortable with whoever I'm gonna be with. I don't know. But honestly, like to get established with another OB, I might have to go somewhere further. Right. Lebanon's not that much further. No, that's true. That would like, be closer Beach. than like Jeff City right. from us. Right. And Do they have an OB? I'm sure everybody really loves Mercy Hospital down there. So. Okay. Like we would deliver there. If we switch, we're going to be delivering at a different hospital. That might be better. Why? Because then we don't have a bunch of people visiting after they're born. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I know everyone's been dying for an update. The bus is finished. Uh, the only thing that was wrong was that it ran out of gas. And the thing is, like, when you run out of gas in a diesel, the engine has to be primed, otherwise there's air on the line, and it's just never going to start. So, they gassed it up, primed it, started right up. And so, they did a one-over on everything, so they did all new filters for everything, all new fluids filled to the top. Uh, we're going to do new brakes, but we're going to wait to do the brakes until like I finish with the build and we get closer to actually using the bus. Because he said like the worst thing you can do is just like replace them and then they just don't get used and they just sit there. It's not good for them. So yeah, it's got a clean bill of health. The mechanic said it's a really sound engine and he's very impressed. Uh, so that's good. It was rebuilt. The engine was rebuilt from 2015. So the engine itself really doesn't have very many miles on it. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we'll be picking that up and then I'll start working on it again and I'll keep you updated because hopefully you're interested in that kind of thing. It was really funny. So our babysitter Carrie was off today. So Barb, Rachel's mother, came and watched the kids and always, she always leaves something here. Actually today was two things. Um, like this bag is all of her stuff and then she also forgot her phone well luckily she has her her watch so she could call and be like brad i forgot you know i forgot my phone i can't find it um so rachel comes by it honestly and what i did for rage is actually bought some of these apple air tags i mean i can't tell you how many times you know she's lost her keys or whatever um so she comes by it honestly, it's not her fault. And I think, hopefully, this will be the solution. Now the problem will be, is if she loses both her phone and her keys. But I guess, since it's Apple and she has an Apple computer, she could just pull up her computer. Um, so, for $29, I think that's a, that's a pretty good deal. 
So they're just Apple Air Tags, and you just use it just like uh, Find My Mac or Find My Tablet or Find My Phone or whatever. Um, so it's it was really simple, like basically just opening it up from the package, uh, taking the plastic off, and then boom, it connects to your phone right away. So really impressed so far. So we'll see if they if they come in handy. I'll I'll keep you updated when we you know use them every day for the next however long.